Good morning. Happy TNS Thursday. Hope you slept well. Hope this video finds you well. Ooh, I need to turn that rice back on. Gotta keep it warm. Slept great. Only snoozed a handful of times. Ready to get everything done where it needs to be. I just have to stay on time so that I don't miss my appointment to get my, my beauty boy shaped up and shaped up, shaped, shaped up. It's a great day. Another day to make sure to, to learn and upgrade Shopify. So, stick with me. Let's get to it. Bet you yawned, didn't you? Slacking. Stick with me. Let's get to it. I am done. I got everything that I need to get done for the uh, the site and my vlog and watched at least one video to get my my thought process on it started reading or listening to the audiobook that I'm on at the moment and now I'm headed to the gym to get that knocked out so I can get back to get showered quick enough so that I can make it over to Martin's barbershop so that I can get all this shaped up at least you know get, get make it look pretty for the rest of the month a little bit of self-care you understand and then from there it'll be another day of um of getting everything to better than where we were at uh as of yesterday that is the new focus is to be better than uh than what we were yesterday so from here on out that's what we're doing got to make sure to clean the hacienda also like the outside the inside stays relatively clean the outside i'm gonna need to start showing some loving to and I had to realize that now because I know that I have the 18 millimeter on there now. You can see everything, everything, which was the point of me getting it. I feel like it's a lot more immersive and it's also easier for me to focus on that big ass lens <laughs> in my face. All right, let's go. Depending on how you look at it, this is either the best or worst time to be at the gym. I mean, with all the po police here, at least I know. I mean, or at least I hope I'm safe. But then I also have to hope and pray that most of these people are here for CrossFit. This is what I get when I wake up or give myself an extra hour to sleep in. I have to pay for it. But luckily, today's upper day, so it should run fairly quick. So it shouldn't be much of an issue. But do wish me luck. Ooh, one day I will get that turned down. But for today, the well, for now, the workout is done. I... See what it's like to uh to bust through a workout successfully and not you know fucking around too much but it also shows me that at least i found a product that has dmha in it that doesn't like make me queasy or anxious or any of that good stuff so definitely gonna invest in nitro i think is the name of it pretty sure it's nitro me and names right now aren't that great but i'm headed home i gotta kind of rush i might honestly just go ahead and go there and then just get this all shaved up and then go home. That sounds like a better idea. Thank you. Look at We're a team. We're a team. I love you. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm here hella early to my appointment. I say hella because I just sat in my truck for about 15 minutes and I'm headed there now. Uh, but it was better than, you know, doing the whole run around and all that kind of good stuff. Hopefully they are, er like, at least open a little early so I can sit in there and not freeze my ass off. But if not, then, you know, it is what it is. There are pokey stops around here and I'll knock those out. Plus, Papa Sil just said that he has a mega amphibious raid. So I'll probably mobile mobile raid that. Yeah. Also gonna see if they'll let me uh, do a time lapse. Cause I definitely don't want to mess around with YouTube and the copyright claims. We finna find out. <laughs> Fresh and clean, feeling at least fresh and clean. Had a good talk with the folks in there. <sighs> so now 
we are headed to go get, you know, clean the rest of the way up, not just in the face. Hair in my mouth. And then get back to doing what we do. Love you. Wish me luck because it's dangerous right here. And somebody just asked me if I work at the nutrition store. Is there no privacy? Work is done. The day, ooh, I'm not gonna lie, for whatever reason, I am drained. Like, mentally drained. I am not in it right now. I think I, at some point, somewhere throughout the day, I exerted a wee bit too much. <sighs> it was a good day, for sure. Um, a lot of progress made on a lot of fronts, a lot of different decisions made and all that kind of good stuff. A good day overall, I'm not complaining, just for whatever reason, somehow, I'm just whew, drained. So I'm gonna go and see if I can't get that taken care of. Let's see. All right, a great end to the night. Got a chance to hang out with a friend. It was a last minute meetup. Like I literally got in the truck and I looked down at my phone and was like, oh, okay. <clears throat> so last minute meetup that, uh, Help me kind of tip the night over, make it a better night, round the day off. So, excited about that. Made the day a lot better. Not that it was a bad day at all. I'm not saying that. Oh, look at the little shanks and up there just napping. Be a nappy boy. Oh, nappy shanks and. Yeah. So, it pretty much helped round out the day and uh, get me into. Sorry, shanks. A better frame of mind. I um really taking a chance to, to sit down on this one and just <clears throat> after the the barber that I use today is well just use in general is uh is Tony. And because uh Blake today showed up a little later, had a chance to just have more of a one on one conversation which was it was great, honestly. It gave me a chance to to get to know him a little bit better, see where he's at. We had a really, really good conversation, which um brought me around to my my primary thought process that I'm usually in. And a lot of the times we get told to settle because of our age, of our situation, whatever circumstance it is. We get told to settle. We also have placed a lot of negative stigmas around our ages. And hell, like, I'll be very honest with you. I'm 32, getting ready to turn 33, and I'm entering literally the best years of my life. Like, I'm in the best shape I've ever been in. I'm in the best position that I've ever been in. I've got the best friends and the best community that I've ever been in. So I I always have an issue when there are people who are okay accepting just being in a really shit situation or just accepting the thought process that life just like unless you're born a certain way or in a certain situation you're just not gonna make it because you know I was not fucking born in a great situation my entire like the foundation of my life there is no plus and there's no perk but I've still managed to end up in a pretty good place because even during the times when I was just fucking failing I stuck to what I knew I wanted to do and there's a lot of times that I didn't even know that that's what I was sticking to I would just stick to the things that for me and it, it just just my, my moral code for lack of a better statement right now while I'm rambling and going over that and talking with him just help remind and like reaffirm and like help me just get a little bit more motivated and solidified in, in that thought process again because there are a lot of times and a lot of situations and, and just so many people who believe that, oh, well, now you're 30, so you have to just 
you have to stick in, in that group and you have to just be okay with this. You have to be okay with these situations. You have to be okay with all of this. I can't get with that. I get, I catch a lot of flack from not wanting to date single mothers. Um, and that sounds bad. But for me, I know I'm looking to build a nuclear family for myself. It's selfish to a lot of people, but for me, I know I, I don't mentally have that thing that people who have kids have clicked for them to where they're they're able to to understand and feel that love for a child or even an adopted child. Or I, I don't have that, so I'm not okay with with putting myself in that situation and putting other pe others in that situation especially a child I'm not okay with that and I won't do it so I, I literally live and build my entire life every single day with the end goal the 10 to 15 year goal being to be in a situation to where I know I'm providing for my family that there there is little to no worry I my family did as good as they as they could with everything that they had but my childhood was anything but ideal so I don't want that to be something that my children that I will have experience so I'm making a point to not even allow those situations to open up Said all that to say, long story short, really long-winded way to go, but we have to stop being okay with what everyone accepts. We have to get out of the lazy mindset that we put ourselves in to believe that this is just what we have, that whatever we have, that wherever we're at, this is just where we're supposed to be when, wherever you're at is where you got yourself. Plain and simple. Every everything that you have, that you are, that you your position in life overall, it's all been your choice. There are very little situations that anyone is ever in to where it's like, oh yeah, th this is just where I am because this person fucked me over. It's like a five percent thing. For the rest of the ninety five other percent of us, you chose to be where you're at. Take responsibility for that. Make your life better. It's it's as simple as being on Facebook 10% less and just working and investing in yourself. It's okay. It's going to hurt and it's going to suck. We have to stop being lazy. If you want the benefits of successful people, you have to do some of the things that successful people do. I can say that. I'm not, I'm not in the best place in life yet. But I've also made it a point to where I'm working towards being in one of the best places that myself and definitely anybody in my family line has ever been in. I can take pride in that thought, knowing that when they mention Isaac Ellison, they'll be mentioning the person that made it his point, his life goal to set a new standard for my family. So, good night, and I love you. Have an amazing day. I hope you had an amazing day. Your tomorrow will be the start to an amazing weekend for you. And we're going to do what we can to start setting goals for ourselves so that we can start moving towards them. From now on, this is just going to be a tutorial towards getting us all, getting ourselves together and putting the work in to make it all happen. Good night, and I love you.